Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I'm here to do another empties video. I really enjoy watching empties videos as well as making them, so I was really excited whenever I found a lot of products. I'm like, I just throw them away. Might as well make an empties video with them. So I have a lot of empties to show you this month. I'm going to start with Home Fragrance and then move on to Beauty. The first item that I have is a large jar from Yankee Candle in the scent Marshmallow Chicks. Now, this scent is Vanilla Cupcake, so I was very disappointed to see that they had a great name candle with not a great name. Not a, not a great fragrance. And this is what it smells like, Vanilla Cupcake. But, let me tell you, no scent throw whatsoever. I had this burning all the time. As you can see, it burned very clean. There's nothing left, but there was no scent. I walked in my room, could not smell a thing. So that was absolutely a not a repurchase at all. I was super, super, super disappointed. And while I'm on the subject of candles, people always wonder what these candles are up above my bed. And those are Luminara candles. Those are flameless candles that look real, so you don't have to worry about them being so high up. No, nothing's going to happen. They're perfectly fine. I also finished a Tarte from Vintage Chic Scents. And this is in the scent Jackson. And I'm actually melting this right now. And it's, again, it's not super strong. It's almost like a blueberry, blueberry bakery scent. It's okay. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it because I cannot smell it all that much in my room. But um, it's nice for now. And then I finished a three wick in lemon cello. Now, normally I have lids for every single one of my jars. I don't know where this lid is. As you can see, it burned dirty, but it burned and it burned strong. This was a super strong candle, as most Bath and Body Works candles are. It's an amazing, amazing scent, just like, not like lemon pledge, just like a very fresh and clean lemon. I love it. I also have a three-week in Summer Boardwalk. Now, Summer Boardwalk is, this one's from 2013, and this is salted caramel popcorn with apples. Again, the strongest candle that Bath and Body Works makes. It's absolutely incredible. Again, it burned really clean, but dirty a little. Um, it smells just, you burn this in one room of your house and your whole entire house will smell like this candle. I have another three wick in coconut leaves. This is very, very, very yummy. Um, it's just like a nice creamy coconut. It's more of like the meat of the coconut than a fake coconut smell. I buy this every year. I love it. I have spring. Now spring is, um... I always say it reminds me of the conservatory that I have near me, and it smells just like that, like very fresh, outdoorsy, bamboo-like. It's really, really, really yummy. I finished another through which this one burned very, very far down, in Mango Dragon Fruit, and this was part of the Hawaiian collection, and this is very, very, very yummy. Um, it's just like a, just like a very strong strong mango. I love it. In the last three wick that I finished, I actually just finished um, a couple days ago, is Red Velvet Cupcake. This is really yummy. Now this is the one from the Sweet Shop collection. Now with the Sweet Shop collection one, this is more chocolatey than anything. This is not like the regular Red Velvet. It's better. It has much, you can really smell that chocolate in it. Then I have one more home fragrance item, and this is from Glade. This is one of their automatic spray cans that I put. I have this in my closet, and this is Merry Maple Morning. I This is in my closet mainly because I don't like the scent. I um, My aunt got it for me. I don't like maple scents, so I stuck it in my closet and was really excited that it was empty. Nothing too great. Now on to the Bath & Body products. I finished up a fresh face mask. Now, I actually finished this up a while ago. I just always forgot, because this is like a small container, I always forgot. I keep all my empties in a box in the corner of my room, and I don't know why. I never grab this. And this is the Rudolph Fresh Face Mask from Lush. Now, this was okay. I do not like Lush face masks at all, because... 
For one, you have to store them in the fridge, and they only last, like, when's this expired? This expired in November of 2013. Um, it was... They're really cold, since you have to store them on the fridge, and they're super thick. So whenever you put them on, it's extremely hard to wipe them off. Like, I would just have to go in the shower to wipe it off. So I wasn't the biggest fan of this. I won't repurchase it. I've found many more face masks that I like better than this one. I finished two mini body butters from the body shop. One is the Shea Butter Body Butter, and this is a mini size. All finished, nice and clean. I love this one. This is my favorite. I keep this in my bag on the go, and people at school seem to really like it too. Then I also finished a Satsuma mini body butter. This is another one that is super strong. I actually have two full sizes and a jumbo size of this body butter as well. This one just smells so orange. Like, just so orangey. It's incredible. I finished up one of my ultra-rich body creams um, from L'Occitane. Now, this is my favorite body cream ever. I love it. It's 25% shea butter body cream. Now, this is the older formula. They recently reformulated it. I have two more of these. This is incredible. I used every last drop. And I love the smell. I remember whenever I first went to L'Occitane, I was not impressed with the smell of their shea butter line. It smelled like baby wipes, and it was absolutely disgusting. But now that I've used it like every single day, I'm really loving the scent because everything in their shea butter line mainly smells like this, and that's what natural shea butter smells like. Love it. It's absolutely incredible. Speaking of shea butter, I finished one of their mini, um, mini hand creams, the 20% shea butter hand cream. And this is my favorite. I've talked about this many, many times. It's just an awesome hand cream. And I actually recently just found this in my empties. This is a Banana Berry Scentsy Bar. Now, I use this up quick because this broke off as soon as I got it in the box. And I that would just make me so mad in my collection. So I hurried up and melted this. This is like 50-50 banana and strawberry. It's awesome. I finished up a bar soap from the body shop. This is a coconut soap. I hate bar soap, but this was actually pretty moisturizing. I just use it to wash my hands because I can't stay. I have so much shower gel that I just decided to use that for my shower. I finished up a bigger size, a 4 ounce and a 2 ounce of the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from Philosophy. This I have in a big 32 ounce size as well that I finished up last empties video. And it's just like a very light micro massage face wash. I keep it in my shower. It's really nice. I finished a um, Cherry Blossom Hand Cream from L'Occitane, and I'm going to make a video of my tube ringer, which is how I get out every last drop of the hand cream. It's actually really cool. I finished up a Travel Size Hope in a Jar Night from Philosophy. I kept this in my travel bag whenever I um, go to different events and places I would use this, and I was happy that it's gone. It's not my favorite night cream. I finished a 16.9 ounce big jumbo size of the Rose Jam Shower Gel from Lush. I love this smell. I wish that they sold this shower gel all year round. It's just a very nice creamy rose scent. With shower gels, I also finished the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works, and I was sick of this scent. By the end, like I always am with their shower gels, nothing too exciting. I finished a big 32 ounce Purity Made Simple Face Cleanser. I use this every single night with my Clarisonic. I love it. It's the best makeup remover, one step facial cleanser on the market. I love it. I finished a peel from Philosophy. This is not my favorite peel. I love the um, micro delivery peel, but this one is the oxygen peel. And this, that was just too complicated to use. Like, you had to mix this. It was like a capsule. You had to mix with water and then shake it and then this. The, the micro delivery exfoliating peel is so much easier. It's literally like a face scrub and then like a serum on top. It's really, really simple and I love it. I also finished the Shea Cashmere Hand Scrub from True Blue Spot Bath & Body Works. 
Um, this was nice. I love a hand scrub. Every once in a while, I just did not like the scent. This is not what shea butter smells like. I mean, it's like a shea cashmere, so it was a very, very creamy um, scent, but it was almost like too crystallized. I didn't like it. Um, I also finished a mini size of the Josie Mirren 100% Pure Argon Oil. This is my night moisturizer that I use almost every single night. I love it. I have the jumbo size from QVC, which they should be doing that again soon. I can't wait to get another one. I finished a glazed body souffle in raspberry glazed from Philosophy. This was really yummy. I finished this a while ago too, but uh, it is like a raspberry glazed donut, and it's such a light, like wet formula, but it's super nice. And my last, no, my not last, <laughs> empty is from the Bathing Garden. It's the it's one of their creamy body scrubs in pomegranate lime sweetheart. This was okay. It was not my favorite scent. Their scrubs aren't my favorite either. They're just really, they're not as scrubby as I would like them to be. But it's okay. And I finished one hand soap, surprising, because I use, I have a big size of L'Occitane right now, so I finished this one from Bath & Body Works. This is one of their new formula foaming hand soaps in Meyer Lemon. This was nice. It was just a whatever, nothing too exciting, just like a plain lemon scent, but it was okay. So those were my empties. Let me know what products were your favorites that you finished this month. If I had one favorite from the month, it would definitely be the Shea Ultra Rich Body Cream. I just love it, and I can't wait to buy another one, even though I have two. I just, I love this stuff. And I know it's expensive for $44, but it's just, it's the best body cream on the market, next to the Philosophy Whipped Body Cream. But it's 12 minutes into this video, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys get to see my new painting that I just painted. I think it looks pretty good for someone who's not an artist. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend next weekend. Bye!